Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a pony spa video or a, a video where I'm trying to restore these little cuties here. Um, if you're wondering why I may be looking <laughs> kind of the same as in one of my other pony spa videos, it's because I'm filming this the same day uh, because like the portion where you're gonna see me is just very small so uh, you want to see definitely more of the ponies so um, and so these guys I got in one of my last hauls I think I got them even from the same seller um, they're both in a not good condition like these are the worst condition ponies that I have right now at the moment uh, so I thought I'm gonna make a video out of them so I can show you how I try to get them um, better looking I'm not sure how much I can do because I'm not an expert in this. This is all somehow also, I'm sometimes also figuring out stuff uh, while I'm doing it. Uh, we have here, um, this is party time. Party time is from the um, party gift set. So a set of, uh, it was like five ponies, all with like bright, cool colors, birthday party themed. And she, has lots of these dark spots all over her body um, and I would call that pony cancer there is some debate uh, on how this is uh, how this happens why this happens to just some ponies I just know that the twinkle eye ponies uh, often have this issue um, and I don't also know if this can get over to other ponies or if it's just something in the vinyl of this pony and if it stands to another pony it, there's no way it, the other pony can get this I don't know I have had like one good result uh, where I just put some of the salon 40 cream on these spots not directly in the sunlight or anything and they like like vanished they completely got away um, I'm just, I want to try this with this pony and now we have here this little uh, baby ribbon uh, like which has like lots of issues, I don't know what's happening, why the tail is so thin I'm pretty sure it wasn't rooted, maybe it was rooted wrongly or something then it has a, I think it's a needle or a pin, I mean a pin or needle sticking in his mouth and she's overall pretty uh, greenish and obviously her like, cutie mark is like completely like faded uh, the main thing definitely is like cleaning them and trying with this one also I know that there is the version because this version doesn't have the like pad pend stamped on the hoof this version is a little bit greener in general but not as green as she's now so I'm trying also to um, get the Salon 40 cream and uh, like uh, sun fade her a little bit. I don't know, with the camera she looks bluer than she actually is, I can tell you she's very green. Um, so these are the projects for this video. Let's uh, start preparing. I'm gonna start with this little girl here. And I definitely see that her head once already was removed because it's pretty open, so I'm pretty sure I can open it yeah, pretty easy. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's something pink in there. I don't know why. So it must have definitely been open before. And yeah, I can see. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try if you can see that. No, it's too dark in there. You can definitely see that there is something sticking in there. I don't know if it's a pin or something. Let's first try get this out. I'm just going in with a um, scissors, with scissors, and trying to push it. Yeah, push it out. doing pony surgery yeah 
Who did that? Why? Ah. I mean, now she has a little hole in her mouth, but that's way better than having a needle sticking in that. What was that? I mean, that wasn't even a needle. I have no idea. Um, so, otherwise, no mold inside. That's ah, that's good. But um, can you see? I think someone tried to remove the tail and then didn't get it back in properly. It was just half of the tail. Like, ooh, and now what have we here? And here's the metal washer. Oops. It was just half of the tail. I mean, no wonder why it was looking so thin. What I'm doing now is like really just giving them like a general wash um, and um, I'm not like taking the care of the hair right now because it will be, um, that will be the last thing that I do. So I also try not to wet the hair right now. Just taking my, um, my magic eraser, by the way, I have these small parts because I cut them. I like to have just small parts in my hands other than having the full magic eraser. This is the soap. And that's just the general cleaning, so nothing like... So there was just some normal surface level, surface, <laughs> surface level dust on her. So um, can you can you see that? Just a little bit normal dirt. Let's see like that. Um, and the rest of all of these black dots is in the vinyl itself. Uh, that's like like a sickness of the pony. That's really interesting. Can you see that? The, these like bright neon hair colors really let um, let, a, let a ring around like the vinyl where the tail was set. That is typical for, for especially for the um, super bright neon yellow. That really can get onto the pony's body. Um, I'm happy that my uh, other yellow ponies, for example, my surprise or so, uh, doesn't have that, but here you can clearly see that. And you can also see like, this is like the body color it actually was. And now this is what it has like taken off. Like it's more of a yellowish and that's different. It's very obvious. Off camera, I can see it very clearly. I think on camera it comes not through so much, but so. And I'm also trying to get rid of this pink stuff. I'm really interested how that worked because it's also in here. Pink is in inside and here. Like what? Same with the head. I'm trying to like not get the hair wet, but it is already a little bit. And also just cleaning the head. So now let's get to the part that is actually like the main part uh, that I want to show you because like you have seen me wash ponies but I don't want to put like still a little bit dirty ponies in that cream so they one should be like clean um, like uh, from the outside and inside if that uh, was not the case before. So let's start with her. At first uh, we definitely want to protect the hair so it doesn't get in like um, I think I don't want to put her in direct sunlight but still uh, the hair should be like definitely out of the way so I'm doing that with um, this aluminium foil stuff here oh my goodness I just 
want to have it out of the way when I put the stuff on and same I just do to the tail. And now I want to apply this stuff. I always say Salon 40 cream. That's what it is called in the US, I think, or in like English speaking countries probably. Um, I don't know, in German I would also say like something like oxidation cream, like oxidationsmittel. Uh, it's actually the stuff that like hair <laughs> uh, styling people, hairdressers uh, use for bleaching your hair, you know, that's one of the compartments. And like the company that I like to use here because I it's, it's available here in Germany is like it's from Vela so this whole stuff is called Veloxone but the same stuff is also sold by like I don't know other companies the most important thing is that it is 12% and it says something about 40 volume because they are also different that's the one that that all the pony people use um, for example, I also once bought this huge bottle here. It should be the same stuff. I'm still using this one because this one is a little bit more liquid. <laughs> and yeah, if I run out of this, I might also use this. But um, as I said, this is more liquid. This is a little bit more creamy. It's important for, for putting on the pony that's more like a cream consistency and not too liquid. You don't want to get it on your hand because, you know, it's, it's chemical stuff and it can burn, really. Sometimes when I get it on my on my fingers, it's like, ouch! But that's why I'm, I'm doing it, um, putting something around my finger. That's how I'm doing it. I mean, you can also apply it probably with, with I don't know, a tool, a brush or something. But, yeah. I think I just have the feeling that I like it more when I just put it with my finger. <laughs> so, let's put something out here. And with these, um, like, ponies that have these dark spots, I really try to just put it on the spots, but like this pony has it like all over the body so yeah and I'm not covering up the um, symbols because it's also in between the symbols and as I said I don't want to put it in direct sunlight so I'm not that like um, worried about um, that the symbols might bleach out or the eyes I mean the eyes are twinkle eyes anyways so quickly wash my hands because you can see oh. and now comes the tricky part sometimes but uh, actually you have to cover like the pony in this see-through foil uh, like transparent foil I don't know what you call that Fuschhaltefolie I say in German that's just so uh, the cream doesn't like dry out too fast because when it's dry it doesn't like work anymore. Uh, you could also just always reapply it, reapply it, reapply it, leave it like this. Um, but it's, it's, it's a little bit better when you, when you have the chance to like cover it up and keep it wet for longer. So let's try it out.
know if that really works. Mm, I just had it with one pony and there it worked, so let's see. Now let's get to little ribbon. I'm doing the same with the hair, but here we have to do a little bit more because I want to put her, because I want to like sun um, fade her into the, I want to put her in a direct sunlight and you know eyes and symbols also can bleach. I mean her symbol is already pretty much gone but definitely have to cover up her eyes. I'm using this tape, this papery, uh, is it called duct tape? No, I don't know what it's called. Um, you pr pr probably can see what it is, you know. Um, this doesn't uh, hurt, <laughs> so this doesn't damage the eyes or anything on the pony if you stick it on. So. But it also like protects it from sunlight. I do um, two, two layers. I just cut it the shape of the eye. I may not completely, but like somehow. symbol there's also this uh, pink stuff in there which I want to get rid of so I just will cover a little bit of the symbol and I have to repaint it in the end anyways because it looks like barely existing right now if you get yourself some rubber gloves for this um, don't have any so because now we're covering the whole pony in the salon 40 cream except of course for the parts uh, where the eyes or the symbol are and not the hair directly, so. Just glove it on, the more the merrier. And yeah, of course, if your pony has a noticeable um, blush still, then you should also cover those parts. She really uh, doesn't, so. I'm not, uh, I'm not taking care of the blush because there is none. Okay, no, I, I think I'm gonna use this just for covering. That's, that's a good idea. So.
So now I'm bringing the ponies to the spot where I want to put them. So let's add first put baby ribbon um, in my bedroom. I always put the ponies that I'm trying to sun bleach, sun fade uh, somewhere here. The truth is you see outside it's really rainy and really dark and it often is it's yeah you know it's April so the weather changes like somehow uh, hourly so um, right now the day is not really good but still a little bit of uh, light even though it is not direct sunlight helps already so there she's going to stay now for Let's see, a couple of weeks, a week, definitely a week, probably longer, probably like two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, a month, I don't know. So let's figure out where I will put the other pony because I don't want to have it like direct sunlight because when the sun comes out, you see the trees do not have any um, leaves <laughs> yet. So then it hits directly. So I think I'm just going to put her there um, so she's near the other pony, I don't forget about her because that also has happened to people that they put a pony somewhere in the garden to sun bleach, um, sun fade and then she comple they completely forgot about them. But yeah, so let's leave them there. With her I figure sometimes I might check in between how it looks and then reapply it or something. Same goes here, I don't know if I filmed that. So, so the next part of the video will be um, in a month or so, or in two weeks, I have no idea. For you that will be just a second, so see you then. Hey everyone, yeah, it's actually now two weeks ago since I uh, started this little project and um, I think, um, like for me, that's like enough time that uh, the ponies have spent in wrapping and uh, I think you can already see that it has changed. Same with this one. I have to tell you, I had to take out, um, I had to take her out of this like whole wrapping that you saw in the beginning um, right away after two days because she started to like kind of bleach, sun fade, whatever, although she wasn't in the sun, um, and in spots that I didn't want to. Because you have to know when you just want to apply this Salon 40 cream on little spots and you just want to bleach those spots etc then you wrap the pony in the see-through uh, foil it will get to other parts it will smudge a little bit and um, she was starting uh, to, to get like differently colored in spots that I didn't want so I took her out of this uh, cleaned her and then just applied um, the Salon 40 cream onto the spots that I wanted to like go away so the, the pony cancer spots and of course if you don't wrap her then then it gets like easy dries out very easy so I reapplied it once per day like sometimes or every two days or whatever but pretty often during that time now give you a close-up so you can see that the dark spots that we have have completely turned into light spots um, so you can't see any of the like brown grayish color anymore but you can obviously still see that 
they are like she she has like some kind of spots and also the edges and also some of the complete spots have like turned um, this like neon pinky uh, kind of color which on some ponies uh, it, it directly turns to this I don't know if this uh, was there already of this is uh, because of the salon 40 cream i don't know but to me that is like so much better than having all these super dark um pony cancer spots because like this i am okay putting her uh on my shelves and if, if you see her from far away that's not as noticeable um this you definitely can't get off with like Salon 40 cream because the spots are now lighter than her body. So it, if you reapply it all the time now, it will get even lighter. That's, that's not what we want. Um, my hope is that at some point the complete body will turn this more neon-y color because if you compare, for example, this side to already this side, and you can see that here, it's like most of the parts have turned this more more like stronger neony color and I know that some ponies completely turn that and yeah but but for me that's as far as I can like get with her um, if you have like a, a differently uh, colored pony for example let's say like a middle dark purple one then the the, the um, like spots maybe might be less visible but with this like strong body color in general of course it's visible that that you had here had these spots but uh, for me as a not really now the sun is coming out typically <laughs> um, as a not super picky pony collector and someone who loves to give ponies uh, a home that like probably no other no, no other pony collector would like I'm super happy like do you remember like these dark spots here in the back or at the like belly I just have to take care of the hair obviously again oops and with her um, I'm not exactly I never I'm exactly sure when to stop it because uh, some things you can also leave like too long <laughs> in the Sun and um, that might get too light and I'm already pretty sure that the color the body color has now changed um, what I can't probably get off easy is this pink spot here uh, which I think comes from inside from from the vinyl itself because it is also somewhere in inside you can't see that right now it's so sunny like somewhere here we have it as well so I think this is from inside the vinyl um, so I would say let's go to the bathroom unwrap this pony and take care of the rest Why I decided to get rid of this metal thing. It doesn't really hold all the hair um, very good, so let's try to open it up. Just wait until um, 
the tail is dry again and the pony from the inside. So we can go on. For baby ponies I got myself some really thin and small um, zip ties. And I also think that for a little bit see-through ponies they are also really good, like for sparkle ponies for example, because they are not as visible. So I think while I'm letting her dry um, and we have all the hair again out of the way, I'm gonna repaint uh, her symbols. They are just white so hopefully that's okay. I'm just using a normal acrylic color and then I will seal it with a um, transparent varnish. has some small scratches on her eyes so I just gonna repaint that as well. I'm mixing black and orange to get a little bit that's more more brownish because her eyes like aren't like uh, total black so more like brownish. Now I'm using a see-through, like matte, not completely matte, but not completely uh, like shiny. So it's a in German it's called Seidenmatt um, varnish, and I will just seal it. So here they are. This is the end. We have reached the end of the video. Um, both have not turned out like super good, like that you would think like, wow, they're in mint condition or anything. No. Um, there are ponies sometimes that you can restore to a super good condition. You can't do that with every pony. Um, I'm pretty happy how um, I could like get off the uh, dark spots. 
you could say uh, now they have light spots and now they they are look like totally um, like with these neon spots but uh, this is as far as I can get with the method and as I said like I'm pretty sure that uh, this side has already pretty much turned this neon all the way and um, at one point in time uh, probably nearly the whole pony will have this like very bright color um, which which like the some of these spots have like around uh, like the, the circle that gets bigger and bigger um, but you know let's get back to what you looked before looks now. With baby ribbon um, I'm pretty happy with like how the body turned out and uh, what I did to the um, symbols. I decided to also cover the pink part here with the yeah, body color. Um, I also just mixed up uh, some acrylic paint to get uh, nearly the body color and then just painted it over because uh, this is something that I personally won't get out. I also did this to this spot and here and here she had two pink spots like this is like uh, it's just painted over but um, I'm also happy now that her her like needle is out of her mouth and like yeah her tail is pretty thin but it's like everything that I had like this is everything that's left I think it's now pretty okay with what it looks the only thing I'm really not happy about is that the the roots let's say of her mane like from from this neon yellow have turned white that's because like the Salon 40 cream that I applied on the body like it smudged onto the hair roots and obviously they also can then turn um, like they can also bleach um, definitely this uh, color this which what, what also like easily gets onto the pony's body this neon color um, I have nothing right now that I could apply on here to get it neon again Maybe um, I can get my hands on, on um, some pens or something that work on the hair because I know that for example Copic markers they work on, on, on these, this kind of hair and let's see if I can get some markers where I can just put some neon yellow on it again but other than that I'm happy with her and I'm also happy with party time so I hope you could at least find find a little bit of like um, information on how to get like like how to sun fade ponies how to get like dark spots that are pony cancer off and um, I have to say there are so many different kinds of like dark spots that ponies can have and only for, 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 from what I experienced only the ones that looked like uh, she had like the ones that have sometimes a little dark spot inside but then they fade out this the brownish ring around these some some that, that are more like sharp small spots they are different they probably won't get off uh, with this method but if you have a pony that looked a little bit like her you can get it off with this so yeah I know that there are pony collectors out there that are like super picky uh, this is not for you you won't be uh, satisfied with these ponies uh, but for everyone that is more like like what I am, I'm okay with some floored ponies. I'm okay with doing some stuff to them. I'm doing. Uh, I, I love restoring them. Um, mostly the ponies that I work on the most become my favorites. Um, it's something a little bit boring to me when I just get a very a pony in a very very good condition and I can just put it on my shelves. Kind of, I don't spend time with it. When I spend time with ponies like these, then they turn out my favorite. So, um, 
Thank you for watching. Please tell me if you uh, know any other like tricks. I've heard things like um, some spots you can get off with this um, like acne cream. I have never tried that out. So if you have any other uh, tricks, maybe uh, share it in the comments and other people could also read it. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and until then, see you real soon and may the force be with you. Bye!